More businesses on the I-69 corridor in Fishers to open soon. John Tuohy forward slash Indistan Nathan Farrell, 5, wears his best red, white, and blue as he waits for the star of the 20th annual Fishers Freedom Parade in Fishers. Matt Kridger forward slash the Idiopolis star, photo, Matt Kridger, Idiopolis star, by photo. First, the fair train was grounded. Then, the Freedom Fest was skedaddled. Finally, a plan for a skating rink was put on ice. Has Fishers become a fun-free zone? The sudden demise of institutions that helped shape Fishers' identity has some residents concerned that the high-striving suburb is sacrificing its history in the name of progress and, along the way, losing its character and traditional pleasures. More in Hamilton County. New Carmel Theatre is providing a home for aspiring actors. Holidays in Hamilton County tend not to miss family-friendly events. Carmel, Fisher's shoppers outspend Adiapolis during holidays, study shows. The train and the festival go back 30 years, before Fisher's rise as an upscale, high-tech hub. The city even named its downtown the Nickel Plate District after the tracks that carried the train. The fest, too, was tethered to the city's roots, growing from a few booths to the largest yearly gathering of residents in Fishers. We were surprised to see the Freedom Fest end and I'm sure some long-time residents are sad to see these old traditions go away, said Jim Saro. 53, a Fisher's resident since 1993 and professional wedding DJ. But the city is evolving and it is not the same place I moved into years ago. Which is the exactly what Mayor Scott Faddis has been telling constituents. Fun isn't being shunned, just rebooted to reflect the dynamic, bustling and ballooning suburb, the mayor said. Out with the state, in with the new. Faddis is betting what replaces the train and Freedom Fest will better reflect Fisher's current standing as an evolving city. And he points to a roster of projects intended to keep good times rolling forward next year. It's simple I want Fisher's residents to have places they can go and events to have fun, Faddis wrote in an email to Indistar. In the end, if all we do is focus on the built environment and bringing businesses here, we will not have fulfilled the vision of being a smart, vibrant, and entrepreneurial city. Still, the path forward has caused consternation among some residents. The nickel plate plan to replace the tracks with a $9 million, 9-mile-long nine greenway to Arblesville is as controversial as any the city has pursued. The proposal has drawn the ire of train enthusiasts and residents who had made a tradition of hopping the train to the fair. A Save the Nickel Plate online petition has more than 7,600 signatures and opponents packed three public meetings about it. It is very disappointing that they want to take away the fair train, said Janice Brooks, 75, a lifelong resident, who signed the petition. They already tore down the old station and put up these big buildings next to it. A lot of the old town is going away. I think a walking trail is idiotic. But Faddis said many more people year-round will be able to use the trail and it would spur business growth, as the Moo Trail has in Carmel.